and comparing the melting points of a dirty benzoic acid, which looks a bit yellow, and we're going to be recrystallizing it into where it will be clear. We're going to start off with uh, boiling water, and we're going to add the yellow into the boiling water. We're going to add boiling water. As we add the boiling water, it should start to, the chunk should start to dissolve and become more liquid. There was more, more than likely still be a cloud going on. We're just going to wait for their chunks to dissolve into a liquid. Again. We added activated carbon to the yellow solution. So where it's... And we're going to do a steam filtration. doing the steam filtration to where we're adding the solution with the activated carbon into boiling water. And if you notice, the water on the bottom is turning yellow. Not as yellow as the other solution, but a lighter form. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to cool it down to where it will form crystals in the solution. Oh, no, I just stopped it. This goes into an ice bath. Where it will cool down. And after it has cooled down, it should form crystals on the bottom in the solution. And we'll use vacuum filtration to vacuum the crystals out. As you see, we have our setup here. Slowly pour in the, the water with the crystals into the uh, Buechner funnel. Make sure you have your filter paper in there already. And then scrape out any remaining crystals with the spucula. And leave, vacu leave the vacuum on until all the crystals appear dry. Done. Should look somewhat like this. And we're going to be uh, recording the melting point of the dirty benzoic acid along with uh, benzoic acid and ours that we actually crystallized out.
yellow and now white. And we're going to kind of And we're going to test its melting point now. And in order to do that, we just take a, a capillary tube. Dab a bit. Run it through here twice. And we're going to go to this melting point device here that detects the melting point. Then you insert it into these little Spots. The two other samples are already loaded into it. The other samples. And then we're going to set the temperature to 120 degrees Celsius. What's already in there is the activated carbon. Oh, the fat and the benzoic acid and the dirty benzoic acid. And then you just look through this, you look at the machine and wait till it starts, till the samples are all, till each sample is liquefied and then record how, at what temperature the, um, each one melted at, which is actually being done by a computer. Right, right here. here, it's on the screen. Mm. Here is the... temperature that we already have in there. And this is how you look into it to see the three samples we have in there. Now we're collecting the data on the computer. And as you can see, here, let's turn it around. <laughs> you see the different data. You can look through the hole to see this hole right there. And it's going to melt. And you can tell when it's liquefied that it's been melted. Yeah. On the screen, we're collecting the data of how and what temperature it melts at. It gives you at what time and then at what temperature and you have to you have to watch and see when it melts and then this will give you the time and the temperature that it melted at it's still crystallized right now the textbook case for this burning is at 120 degrees celsius and it's currently at 61 <laughs> <laughs> we have the dirty benzoic acid to where it looks like it's liquefying. So someone is recording. We are at 84 degrees right now. And the dirty benzoic acid has liquefied completely. This is the most temperature. 90 degrees.
The crystals that we formed have now liquefied and it is at 100 degrees Celsius. And the actual melting point for benzoic acid is about 122 degrees Celsius.